All right, good afternoon. It is the minister. We are here in the office of the kingdom followers of Yahushua Mashiach. I am coming to you live. First of all, I want to say thank you to all of our subscribers, all of our supporters. We are live today once again getting after these scriptures. I want you to like the video, share the video, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You want to give a donation, it is tax deductible. You can visit us online at www.knsministries.org. That's www.knsministries.org. So today, we are going to continue our discussion in the book of Jubilees. Now, you ask me, where is the book of Jubilees? It has been snatched out of your Bible. So, as we went through the other day, I'm going to give you some nuggets of some things that you should know, especially if you're a teacher or some kind of preacher or if you're wearing some kind of a title. I don't care what your title is, what your bishop name is, whatever your war worldly given man-made title is, doesn't even matter. What matters is if you're teaching the scriptures the way the Bible was intended to be taught. So I'm going to ask you, separate your feelings. You must separate your feelings when you're reading the word of the Lord. Why? Because it's not about your feelings. It's not about my feelings. It's not about how anybody feels. It's about what does the scripture say? So once again, I don't care what your feelings are. What does the scripture say? That is what matters to me. Matter of fact, that is what should matter to you. Don't let somebody bamboozle and scamify you because you don't want to read the scriptures. Well, I'm and I'm going to read as many of them as possible. And we're going to base everything that we talk about on what the scripture says. Now, I said I was going to address some ridiculousness that I saw earlier. Somebody sent me uh, a, 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 a text message with the, I guess, the, the first of all, the worldly rap artist, the brat. Now, we're going to talk about this, first of all. Because you guys want to know, what is the evidence of the last days? Well, listen, didn't they just go a whole, uh, uh, she was on every magazine, I thought she was gay. Now, all of a sudden, a man had to be there. It had to be a man there. How in the world does she end up pregnant? And this is what becomes news. It's Sodom and Gomorrah. It's the reality of what the Bible said that was going to happen in the last days. It would be like the days of Noah. Just anything goes. Anybody sleeping with anybody. Nobody has any morals. Nobody follows the scriptures. Well, woe unto you. The Lord rebuke you. You must understand you can't live any kind of way and think you're going to be saved? Whoever taught you that lie is going to cause you to go to hell right with them. Yeah, I'm talking to your preacher. I had somebody get offended the other day because I shared the video of what some bishop was doing in a crowd full of women. Now, here's the problem. She was a bishop, got a woman on her back, and it's like two men in the whole service and all these women emotional and crying and falling out. This is what we think church is today. I said another statement the other day. If you start a statement with me telling me that God told you to tell me, it's immediately a scam. God didn't tell you to tell me anything about my life. 
if I have a relationship with him and you have a relationship with him, then he should be talking to me about me. What authority do you have? Because somebody told you that you're bishop such and such, apostle no good, scamified prophet. What does the Bible say? And are you living what you're preaching? That's the reality of it all. If you're not living it, I don't even want to hear you. I don't want to hear you. And that's the problem with a lot of these preachers today. They're not living it. If I followed you home and took a look at your tree, I will guarantee you that you would have some fruits that don't match what you claim on that tree. And I know I'm not talking to somebody that doesn't know what I'm talking about. Once again, I know I'm not talking to a bunch of two-year-olds. You know what I'm talking about. You must live this behind this mantle what you are preaching. That's it. It doesn't get no better than that. You don't get to pick and choose. It's what we must do. So the reality is, I appreciate the support. And we're going to get into Jubilees, chapter number three. And I'm going to begin reading at verse one. And on the sixth day of the second week, we brought, according to the word of Elohim, unto Adam all the beasts and all the cattle, all the birds and everything that moves on the earth. And everything that moves in the water, according to their kinds and according to their types, the beast on the first day, the cattle on the second day, the birds on the third day, and all that which moves on the earth on the fourth day, and that which moves in the water on the fifth day. And Adam named them all by their respective names. And as he called them, so was their name. And on these five days, Adam saw all these, male and female, according to every kind that was on the earth. But he alone and found no help meet for him. He was alone and found no help meet for him. So this is where, ladies, this is where your original makeup comes from. Don't get mad at me. This is from the beginning. Now, if you don't like from the beginning, then I want you to call Yahuwah up and you tell him about it. You cry to him. You say to him, I don't think it's fair. But until then, the Bible is clear. He says in the beginning, what your makeup was for. You didn't come here to have your own makeup. You came here to be somebody's helpmeet. That's what the Bible says. Now, if you don't like that, I don't care. That's the beauty about this ministry channel is I don't care about feelings and neither should you. We're looking at what does the scripture say? And whoa, man, you were made to be a helpmeet, not have your own thing. So I don't care what Oprah taught you. I don't care what basketball hoes taught you. 90% of them are divorced. I don't care what Beyonce told you. She's a billionaire and she's married. So don't tell me that this is the way it should be. Because the Bible is clear.